Hello, welcome. I'm Wendy Irene from GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com and this message is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. I want you to go into the message with the simple intention of clarity. What my purpose is, is to help you connect with your own intuition. I want to help you spark your own intuition because within you are the answers. So please don't see this reading as me telling you what's happening or the cards telling you what's happening. What it is that I want you to pay attention to is what's coming up within you when you're hearing the messages. Those are your, that's your intuitive knowing. Um, so roles can be reversed. Use your intuition as discretion. Also, these readings are timeless, meaning I think that you'll find these videos when you're meant to or be drawn to specific ones when you're meant to. So that's why I don't put dates on them. Okay, and if anything is re coming up here that's been repeated for you or something here, you hear something here and then it repeats later on, I would pay particularly close attention to repeated messages because I find the universe also, uh, usually speaks to us in this like repeating of information. It's almost like this loving repeating no matter what it is. Um, and it's a collective message, so not everything is going to resonate with everybody. So just take what makes sense for you with what's coming up for you okay scorpio okay let's get started the first cup is the first card is cups and actually the second card is cups as well so that's your water energy emotion um this is like feeling like you have a lot of choices you might be feeling a little bit of anxiety or overwhelmed with the choices um because this can be like there's a lot of like maybe you have more than one choice in career or job or more than one choice in love or there's it could be it could have to do with many things you have to use your intuition but there's a lot of choices and it can be a little bit like that feeling of oh I'm not sure what to pick um, with the six of cups this is like a really making peace with the past like they're sitting here peacefully but it's like pretend that like this is her looking back at her past self and making peace with it and taking the wisdom and leaving the struggle and all the unhappiness behind, but keeping the wisdom, like the nuggets of gold from the past that are, are were there to help create who you are now, right? You're not who you were in the past and you, every day, like you're, this, it's this new beginning, but you're making peace with the past and you're keeping the wisdom, which is beautiful because there has been eight of swords, some situation that has caused you unhappiness or anxiety. I mean, he's got an alligator on his back, swords all over the place. That's thinking like maybe some overthinking, but like something has made, been causing you unhappiness. And maybe you're deciding like, what choice do I, what choice can I make? Cause I want to head in a direction that's harmonious. The thing that's super interesting about this reading, which has never happened for me before, is I got three knaves, the knave of pentacles, the knave of cups, the knave of wands, all together in the same row. I've never had that happen. So for me, I'm feeling like there's this like adventurous energy coming up. Like, like I feel like you're going to take a risk to do something that's going to like pick a choice with the seven of cups. You're gonna pick a choice that makes you feel more filled up in many ways. And it's like, these cards are saying, good news with money it'll be good news with how you feel emotionally and good news with how you feel like passionate wise because i see wands so much as passion like whatever it is that i feel like i feel like you're on the brink of this decision or you've decided to do something where it's like going to bring you passion and i and these cards are trying to say you'll be emotionally it's, it's going to be more emotionally fulfilling for you and you will be um fulfilled financially so um it feels like a really good decision. It feels like you're about to make a really good decision. It feels a little bit adventurous, like maybe like a leap of faith, like maybe you're a little bit scared because it's kind of like an, um, maybe for some of you, it's like you're starting this new path. Maybe it feels like you're going to start like a new beginning kind of. I wanna, how do I wanna say this? Or like you're gonna be like, more in the student stage but like really in alignment with yourself and and it's good news with money and good news with emotions and good news with passion so i'm really excited for you and i'm proud of you um 
And you got the let it go card. So this could be letting go of an old way of being, letting go of the old thing that wasn't making you happy, letting go, letting go. <laughs> I'm just going to read you what the book says. It's time to stop struggling, pushing, or forcing things to happen. Such actions push against the universal flow and lead to frustrations and blocks. When you let the situation go to spirit, you automatically open supportive doors that will bring solutions and an outcome exceeding your expectations. That's what these cards are saying. Like it's, you're going to be like passion, emotionally fulfilled, financially okay and fulfilled. Um, so let go of struggle, anger, unforgiveness, or anything else undesirable. So for some of you, it's forgiving something from the past or frustration from the past. Trust that the universe is on your side. Let go of an argument, judgments, or a long-term hurt. Have compassion for everyone involved in this situation, including yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. Okay, so that is 100% making peace with the past. The letting them go, making peace with the past. Okay, Scorpio, I hope this message helped give you some clarity. Um, I want you to know that I so appreciate your time. It's precious and your support here. I love doing these readings for you and helping you connect with your intuition. So thank you for being here. Thank you for the loving energy. And if you liked this video or it resonated, please do subscribe. Um, click the bell to be notified of new videos to come and leave me a comment and let me know how you're doing because I'd love to help I'd love to hear from you and I appreciate you doing all those things that helps the video circulate okay Scorpio have a really good week and I'll be back again soon with a new message for you bye